Okay, so we are on day two. Uh, this is part one. Um, it's a beautiful day out, absolutely gorgeous. Um, shame to be in, but you know, it's what it is. Look at the difference. Look. So red. Uh, anyway, uh, digressing. Um, one of the things I've realised today is that people are really not aware of if they should be self-isolating or not. Um, I think there's a complete lack of um, understanding just purely because they just don't know what they should be doing. So, I'm sure the rule of thumb is if you are in contact with someone who has got a symptom of the coronavirus, you too should be self-isolating. Now, if I'm wrong, please come back to me. I'll see you later on this evening. Bye. So, here we are day two um yeah it's been a bit of a crazy day really um we've had um uh, whew, what can i say um i've had telephone calls from people saying stay in stay in stay in um i've had messages from people who aren't too sure whether they should be staying in or not oh, yeah. uh, staying in or not um it's been beautiful weather, so I've actually hung out some washing for the first time. I know I'm not meant to be going out my room, but it's just in the garden. And only Mark and Annie and I were in, and they were working or in their room. So, um, and then the big wait came because everyone started getting texts through from uh, the government saying who should be self-isolating for the 12 weeks, the 1.5 million they keep talking about. Well, um, yeah, I got mine about an hour ago but lots of people got this before and i think there's a lot of confusion and you know am i getting it am i not should i be self-isolating will i get help with food you know there's a lot of a lot of different things that um it holds so i actually went on you can go online if you think you should be one of the one and a half million there's actually a government um website that you can go on and you can actually self put yourself in there um which I did because I didn't think they'd actually recognise my conditions. They're so rare, but they um they did. So that was good. Uh, so yeah, so I'm now officially, even though I was anyway, self isolating, not allowed out. Though I do have an infusion, three days infusion in two weeks. So I'm really hoping I can get to that because if I can't, I'm in trouble because that's my immunoglobulin. You know, so um, and to be honest, I I didn't think about things. There's actually a video going around um, of a nurse who's had to like leave her family, her two year old daughter, for the next twelve weeks because she's front facing. She's in the emergency room, um, and she was like, "When people come into your house, make sure they immediately wash their hands." And I thought, Christ, I haven't been doing that. You know, Mark and Nanny have been out twice today because they had to go and get stuff, and. No, they didn't wash their hands. So when I was handing over money for something to somebody that Annie was giving, I actually put it in a anti-back wipe and actually cleaned it with Dettol first. Um, but that's something we're going to have to try and install in the house, actually. I hadn't considered it. But, yeah, when you come into someone's house, you wash your hands straight away. And, um, you know, I've got to make sure that my handles and my doors and, everything, and don't touch your face, which we apparently do about 14 times a minute, um, as you can just see. Uh so yeah there's there's quite a lot i think to understand and the best way of getting it is, is to get it from um the nhs staff because they know i also want to do a massive massive uh, shout out to marianne clack who um i don't know if she owned or she ran a a shop down in vale road in port slade that had cloth and she put on um a facebook post saying that she would be spending all afternoon making uh, cloth masks for those who need it so because I was bored I was reading everything and I was like oh wow so I messaged her and said you know I'm self-isolating I can't go out um, I'm going to be in for 12 weeks but I do have to go for treatment in hospital that I really really need to have and bless her she made me two she made me two face mask cloths so you have to wash them when you come in um oh but they're just amazing so can I just say Marianne thank you so much and I know you made others as well and like for other people and I'm sure they are as grateful as I am uh the other shout out is to Claire Claire who lives along the road from me um she did a big order of food for all the people in the street today and um yeah I've got hundreds of frozen sausages in my freezer now and um eggs perfect so yeah that's a big shout out to claire anyway um, i think that's enough for day 
two um, survived it, haven't killed anybody. Um, yeah, 98 to go. See you later.